Let's talk about the mind and how we can control our mind. The first step is to listen and track what happens in your mind. You want to use tools like meditation or journaling to see what's happening in your mind. What are the thoughts that you have? Where are they come from? The more you can observe your thoughts, the better you understand how they're affecting you and how you can be separated from your thoughts. The next step is to identify repetitive patterns of thoughts and label them. If you have thoughts about feeling ashamed, if you have thoughts related to anxiety, you have to identify them and label them. And once you label them, you can recognize them whenever they happen. So let's say you have a bunch of thoughts that are related to anxiety. You can label them an anxious thoughts or any other name that you want to call them. And then whenever they happen, you can label them and separate yourself from those thoughts. In this way, you have separated yourself from the pattern of anxiety. And now instead of those thoughts controlling you, you will be able to control them and remove them from yourself. Once we start to observe and track down our thoughts, we will start to notice that we have these sort of thoughts that are not rooted in reality. These thoughts convince us that they are true because they repeat themselves and they also use our emotions to convince us that they are real and there is something valid to them. These negativities of the mind tells us that they are helping us and guiding us through our success, happiness or growth. But in fact, they're only stopping us, makes us anxious, sad, or depressed. Contrary to mind voices, the true self is usually silent, confident, and calm. When we are in the state of relaxedness and calmness, our true self gradually comes up. Gaining a control over your mind is like a practice that you have to do over and over. And gradually you can master your mind and achieve the desire that you want. If you like the video, please like it and share it with others.